Hi guys, today is day 11 of the DevOps interview question series. Imagine you are in middle of coding, maybe fixing a bug or working on a new feature and suddenly you need to switch branches or pull the latest updates but you are not ready to commit your changes yet. What do you do? That's where git stash comes in. When you run git stash, git temporarily saves your uncommitted changes and gives you a clean working directory like putting your work in a locker so you can come back to it later. If you want to see what you have stashed, just run git stash list. It will show all the stashes you have saved so far. And when you're ready to continue where you left off, you simply run git stash apply. This brings your saved work back into your working directory. So that's the power of git stash. Let's take a quick demo of how git stash works. First I'm cloning my repo called stash demo into my local machine. I navigate into the folder and now I am ready to make some changes. I create a file name demo.txt and add a line, line 1. Then I add it to the staging and commit it with the message initial commit. At this point my working directory is clean. Now I make another change to the same file and add a line of text which is line to work in progress and saving it to demo.txt file. This new file is added but not committed yet. When I run git status it shows changes that are not staged. After I run cat demo.txt, I can see both lines, line 1, line 2, working progress, which is unstaged. Now here comes the magic. When I run git stash, this command saves my uncommitted changes and gives me a clean working directory. If I read demo.txt again, only line 1 is there. That means line 2 is safely stashed away. To view the stash changes, you can run git stash list. You will see an entry showing your saved work. If you want to bring those changes back, you can simply run git stash apply. Now, if you open demo.txt, second line is back. Your work is restored exactly how you left it. Follow for more real world DevOps interview scenario questions. See you in day 12.